Welcome back. In this video, we'll review the updated guidelines for the use of statins. You should start statin therapy to any patient who has coronary artery disease or anyone who's completely healthy, but the risk of atherosclerosis is 7.5% or anyone who is dyslipidemic, of course, or anyone with diabetes. So anyone in these four categories has to be taking statins. In all cases, statins should decrease the LDL levels by 50% or at least have LDL level reach 70. If the medication doesn't reach this criteria, we call this failure of treatment. And we should add a second line to the statins like Uvolocumab or Ezetimib. If a patient doesn't tolerate the symptoms of statins, you should decrease the potency and if they still don't tolerate the symptoms, you should switch to the second line. The high-intensity statins are the atorvastatins and the rosovastatins. You should start with these ones, and they should decrease LDL by 50%, like we said. A confusing dilemma sometimes occurs in a patient with high tri triglycerides, because we know that statins lower the LDL much more than they do the triglycerides. And we do know that fibrates decrease triglycerides more. But statins are so effective that we use statins even if the patient has high triglycerides. In other words, if a diabetic patient or somebody who has coronary artery disease came in with very high LDL and very high triglycerides, we obviously will start with statins. But if they came in with low LDLs and high triglycerides, we will also start with statins. We will not start with triglycerides lowering agents like fibrates unless the levels of triglycerides are very high. And that's the review for the updated guidelines. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helps.